Okay, everybody, welcome back to the World Coffee and Good Spirits Championship. Is everyone ready for our next competitor? Yeah. yeah, there you are. And the judges are ready too. Please welcome them on stage with a huge round of applause for our judges. They're going to yes. have a tough job. And now we'd right. like to introduce, representing Japan, we have Coyote Tanaka. Woo! Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. So, uh, is everyone ready? Okay, all right. So, time. Today, I'm going to present to you a traditional cocktail and trendy cocktail. First, I'm going to serve you a warm designer drink, which is inspired by mulled wine as a traditional cocktail. And for the second course, I'm serving you an espresso martini as a trendy cocktail using trendy coffee variety, trendy coffee variety which is geisha. So, I'll be back very soon, so I'll be back very shortly. Thank you very much. So first, as a warm designer drink, I'm going to make for you a traditional hot drink of mulled wine. However, instead of using wine, I'm going to make for you, I'm, I'm going to make use of high quality grape and winey flavors found in my coffee, Ethiopian natural called Shakiso. I'm using 60 grams of fine ground coffee that's been aged for five days after roasting with 300 grams of hot water at 96 degrees Celsius stirring for about 25 seconds as I let it steep. Today, I'm using a mixing cup because this method enables us to make consistent brew even in a bar where there is no coffee tools. The total brew time will be three minutes and a half. And finally, by using a paper filter, I can draw out the grape-like flavor and pleasant tonic mouthfeel. This grape-like flavor And wine quality is one of the greatest strengths of my coffee today. Next, I'm gonna brew an espresso for my espresso martini. The geisha coffee I'm using today is Finca Esmeralda Wash from Panama. The recipe is 22 grams in and 45 grams out. This coffee was roasted 12 days ago to enhance the extraction yield of espresso. And this Esmeralda Geisha has very floral notes and crisp stress acidity like a lemon and bergamot. So I'm gonna chill this first here. So thank you for eating. Let's make my warm drink. So first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Lone Star Kappa Premium Lime for 30 minutes. Since this is made using only virgin sugar cane honey, you can feel the long sweet finish of brown sugar in my warm drink. And 20 minutes of simple syrup for sweetness. and 20 ml of Pedro Jimenez Sherry to best match the cask aromas from Lone Kappa. And, sorry, and 10 ml of Japanese craft gin with floral notes. And also 10 ml of balsamic vinegars as a creative ingredient today. Normally, balsamic vinegar is only used as seasoning in cooking. However, I think the vinegar can match well with the wine. So, in the in, then therefore, in the case of shakisa, with its wine quality, the vinegar actually helps to accent, accent the grape-like acidity. And 40 ml of hot water, 40 grams of hot water to open up the aroma.
and I'm gonna put these ingredients to 180 grams of beef that shucks natural. I'm gonna serve my drink at 60 degrees so that you can enjoy a free enjoy winey flavor through my coffee. Thank you. Combining all the ingredients without using any wine, I have made for you a cocktail that fills and tastes a glass of warm mild wine, which you can enjoy a holiday season. And orange beer as a garnish. cinnamon stick, of course. The flavor is red wine, raisin, and brown sugar. And the texture is high quality tannic sensation of Cabernet Sauvignon. So please go ahead and enjoy. So next, I'll be making my espresso martini. This martini will really highlight and make use of the lemon and the bergamot flavors of the geisha variety. As a creative ingredient today, I've made my own vermouth to bring together my espresso and gin in the best way possible. Normally, vermouth is a type of flavored wine made with vermouth or other herbs soaked in white wine. However, in order to protect my smooth espresso, I've changed this recipe. Keeping with the same white grape base as the wine, I use 100 ml of Moscato sherry. In place of warm it, I use 0.1 grams of matcha. In place of other herbs, 3 grams of geisha coffee beans. And to accent the flavors from the geisha coffee, 3 grams each of lemon peel and the bargain tea leaves. All boiled for 10 minutes. After cooling, I added 20 grams of simple syrup for sweetness and 20 grams of vodka to fortify the alcohol completing the vermouth that will truly synergize with my geisha espresso. So I'll be very back shortly, so thank you very much. So thank you for waiting. I will now begin making the espresso martini. First, I'm gonna use 15 ml of my craft vermouth that I have just explained. And 30 ml of style Bombay Gym with its floral characteristics from added botanicals. This will match with the geisha's floral notes. Sorry. And 45 grams of cooled espresso of geisha. and shake these until they are chilled to five degrees. Good. Thank you for waiting. So today, I have made for you an espresso martini that sits at the tip of the coffee cactus wall using the geisha variety along with my craft vermouth. And to further accent the geisha's floral notes, as a garnish, dry lemon, and excuse me, please, let me pour bergamot tea over the geisha coffee beans for you to enjoy floral aroma together. The 
Ravenel is Raymond, Bergamot, and Ice Wine. And mouthfeel is juicy and a smooth texture. So thank you for waiting. Enjoy your drink tonight. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, Kohei Tanaka from Japan. Wow, okay, Kohei, okay. join us here. Oh, Come for a chat, my friends. Wow, wow, join us. wow. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There's so many things to ask about. It's such interesting ingredients. Thank you. I think uh, we were talking about the matcha, specifically mm -hmm. sounds yeah. really interesting, the vinegar. What was your kind of approach to building these drinks? What, what inspired you to use vinegar and a matcha? Uh, why did I use that? Yeah, what uh, do because, they bring? Because uh, the vermouth, uh, walnut, uh, is used for vermouth. Yeah. So instead of using uh, walnut, Mm -hmm. I just uh, decided to use that nice. matcha. Yeah, Lovely. yeah, yeah. It's, which which has a, a little bit bitter, right? Yeah, a little bit so, bitter, a little yeah. bit gummy. So I think uh, I thought it was uh, accent. Yeah, so that's why I use that. Lovely. Yeah. Sounds very very interesting. I'd love yeah. to try it. Thank you. I remember I've been in the uh, Ultimate Coffee Bar many times in mm. Tokyo, and I was always impressed you. uh, with your coffee cocktail. So even today, wow, it Thank was you. it was beautiful to watch. Thank you so much. It really was. And you've made a lot of coffee cocktails in your life. You've been, you work in an actual coffee cocktail bar. This is really, not unique, but it's a really special thing to actually do this day to day. Do you find what you do on the stage translates to Unlimited? Uh, thanks to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to thank to members of uh, Unlimited. Yeah, yeah, sure. My boss uh, always teach me how to uh, make a good coffee cocktails. Absolutely. And also co-worker, uh, my co-worker, and my friends, and my family, and anyone who uh, supported me. Yeah. yeah. You did a tremendous job. Thank so you. are you more focused in, in your work? Do you spend more time in the daytime making coffee, more time in the evening making cocktails, or is it a bit of both? Yeah, both. It's both. Yeah. Well, nice. it's a true shows. coffee in good spirit uh, yeah. champion from Japan. I mean, really shows. ladies and gentlemen, Kohei Tanaka. Let's hear it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we'll be back very shortly with our next competitor, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>